Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Jin and I hope you're enjoying the YouTube series. So in this series we've added Mine Colonies to Better Minecraft and we're trying to build our very own Mine Colonies colony. But before we get going, a huge thank you to my Patreons and my YouTube members, people like XPG Angel, Jadela, you guys are amazing. Now it would seem like we have an admirer, Miss Jameson, whenever I bend over, I think, I think she's checking out my caboose. Or actually, maybe she's checking out my backpack, which is pretty sweet also. So one thing you guys have said is my university is incorrectly placed and I basically made a creative flat world to test this out. And so basically when a university gets to level five, there's kind of a space at what's supposed to be the back for a library. And so where we're supposed to put the library, there is the sawmill now instead. So what we're gonna have to do is flip a rooski the library 180. But don't worry, I have a plan for that. Also, you guys said that Strawfingers, the guy behind me, escaped. But, I mean, I came back to the cage and look, he's in there and there's nothing he can do. He definitely can't escape. Wait. What? Can you hear that whistling? Hello, Miss Jameson. How's it going? Maybe she's upset that uh, she doesn't have a job. Or maybe she was whistling at my backpack, if you know what I mean. Oh, am I not good enough for you? Huh? To... Old? <laughs> well, uh, maybe. What? <laughs> no, Miss Jameson, you're a colonist. None of that. Um, wait. Hang on a sec, what's that in his hand? Is that a stick? What's he got there? Oh, it's him! He's got the whistle! Hang on a sec, who... How'd he get a whistle? Strawfingers says Benza Fisher gave it to me. What? Whoa! Ben's a fisher. Wait, hang on a sec. How does a colonist give Strawfingers a whistle? Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, I mean, what's he gonna do? Play as a tune to death? I think we're fine leaving him with the whistle. I just don't want to risk him escaping. So let's get over to the university and I'll show you what we're gonna do this episode. We've got a couple of things on our plate. Also, I really do need to give this whole colony a big old decoration pass and start to get these paths looking quite nice. You guys have said this place looks a bit rough around the edges, and you know what, you're 100% correct. And the reason why is I was going for this kind of like rustic, semi-path, semi-gravel, semi-dirt look. But the colony's so big now, it doesn't really look like it should be that rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna neaten things up and make things a bit straighter and a bit more uniform. And you'll see what I mean after I've done it. So this series has always been like about exploring mine colonies and working out how things work inside the mod. And one of the things I've thought about is how do you remove a building? Well, I could go around with my pickaxe and just dig the whole thing up. That would take a long, long time. So, Harvard 2, build options, and here it says there's a button to deconstruct. And I'm curious, I wanna see what this does. Before we do that though, I'm gonna check the research. Where do we stand? Oh, we've got 15 minutes remaining on first aid too. But it looks like avoidance has been completed and now our knights can use shields. Well, we should put some shields into the warehouse to get them equipped. So how does this work? Well, we're gonna right click on the, oh, what? oh. Wait, what? Your researchers have made their conclusions about first aid two. What? But it just said 15 minutes. Well, okay, one thing that helps with is we can dig up the university now and not worry about it. So I want to go to build options and see what deconstruct does. Oh man, <laughs> look at this. I love it. Assigned workers, researcher, village idiot. Yeah. So we made a removal request, but I think we have to give this specifically to a builder. And since Alyssa built it, let's let her demolish it. So work orders, Harvard, assign. Boom. And so while that's happening, let's have Queen Decoy now work on the other buildings that we have. So we'll have her build the citizen house that's down here in the cave up to level two, and also the smeltery up to level one. Now there is one more feature I wanna take a look at. If we look at this builder's racks, oh my God, this guy has loads and loads of trash in his storage. 
or her storage, I should say. But there is a way we can fix that. One of you guys in the comment section said, the way I cleared out Alyssa's builder's hut before was kind of not the way you should do it. Instead, what you're supposed to do is request pickup now. And what that means is, fingers crossed, this courier should take all of this trash out of the storage here and put it back into the warehouse. And so we'll check back later to make sure all of this stuff is gone. Now another huge problem we have also is the warehouse is chock-a-block full of trash now. Like there's beans, beans in our computer system, a pointed dripstone, that's never going to get used. So yeah, it's time to throw away a lot of this trash. So there we go, things are once more clean kind of in the warehouse. What I will do is when I'm decorating this whole place, I'll give it a proper look at the warehouse and we'll clean out those racks completely. Also, it would be kind of good to get the warehouse up to level three, I think. I mean, why not? But let's check on Alyssa and see how she's going with the demolishing of the university. So I have no idea how this works, but I imagine, yeah, from the top to the bottom, she just basically digs it up completely, right? Is that how it works? Let's go and check on her. Wait, where is she? Oh no, so we've come over here to see what Alyssa Jack is up to and it looks like she needs tools. Now the fact that she needs tools means she actually has to manually dig up each different block. And this could be a real, real big problem for us because at the moment, when we make an axe, it goes probably straight to the forester. He starts digging trees and then he needs another axe and he just goes through our axes like crazy. But the truth is we don't really need any more wood. So can I tell this guy just to stop working for now? Like, go and take a break. We don't need you anymore. Here we go. Manage workers. Tarquin DiCaprio, he's a forester, so we don't have to fire him. Instead, what we can do is we can press pause. Oh, that's amazing. So he'll stay here. He's got a job, but he won't do his job until we say get back to work. And that's a really good idea. I think we might do the same as well. Although, honestly, maybe we should give this guy disciplinary leave because he gave our captive a freaking flute. He's a sympathizer. Although maybe not. Food production's a dangerous one because if we do run out of food on the colony, how are we going to feed our dudes? Yeah, we'll leave him at work. Master the Coquette. Yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, the first name and the last name don't quite match up and you get a guy called Master the Coquette and it's a bit weird. Honestly, I kind of want to hire him, but we're not going to. We're going to discipline ourselves. Smiley Vader. But speaking of hiring, let's check on the colony here. Information. And we have a slot for one more dude. And it looks like we do have space here for a fisher or a smelter. Problem is though, if we add a fisher, that's gonna take up way more storage space in the warehouse. We can't afford to get a fisher at the moment. Man, but this episode so far has just been so confused. We've been going backwards and forwards, trying to micromanage all kinds of these little things. Let's focus instead on the one thing to start with. That's getting the university flipper skied so it's facing the right way. So we've given Alyssa some tools now. She should get to work. Fingers crossed. So let's see if the courier did actually clear out the builder's hut. Oh, look at this. So the builder's hut now, it's almost completely empty. We'll take out the peas and all these bits of food ourselves. But hot diggity damn, the button actually works. So that's a great way to clear out all of the extra inventory that these huts can accumulate and that jam up their works. But the problem is we do now really need to make sure the warehouse has a lot more storage. So now let's watch Alyssa go to town on this university. So yeah, the big problem when you demolish a building like this is the builder comes over here, gets their tools out and slowly starts to dig away at things which means the process is long and laborious and you don't really want to have to resort to this. So my advice to you guys is, before you build a building, make sure it's in the right place. The Flipperuski side is that she does keep the materials that she's digging up, which means when we go back to build this building, we should have everything we need already in place. So I gave Alyssa a little bit of a hand and many hours later, she has finally almost completely removed the previous university. As soon as she digs up the actual university block, we can put it back into our packs and place it down again with the right orientation. So there we go, Alyssa has finally finished and here we are at the site of the university's removal. Now it says to move this, we have to go to 
build options here. Pick up the building. Now we get it in our pack. Oh, these two guys have lost their jobs, but it's okay. Don't worry, idiot and uh, Vanessa, Teresa. We'll get you put down. We'll get your university built pretty quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to use down here. I dug real deep where the well was. And we're going to pivot the building 180 degrees around the well. So the back is the front and the front is the back. And so this is where the building should be situated. But as you can see, this moves where the actual building is going to be by quite a lot. And it might overlap the sawmill now. You have to be careful of that. No, it looks like we're okay. The sawmill's here, the university's here, and it doesn't look like there's any overlapping. It is very close though. So now we raise it up. Back to the level that it was before. And I think we should be okay now to pull the trigger. We're good to go. Because as you can see at level 5 now, this becomes the front of the building. And the area over here becomes the back. And so the university is in its correct position and primed for the library. But we're not going to do that yet because you guys wanted to see a barracks first. So the library is back up and running, level 2 and ready to rock. And as you can see, we've gone into the library here and we've rehired Teresa and the village idiot. Now, as far as research goes, I just equipped Keen, which is going to unlock the library. And we've got 30 minutes on that. It costs three books, no sweat. What we need to do now is work out our second research. And what I think it's going to be is down biodegradable, we've got let it grow. But for let it grow, which gets us the plantation, we need, oh, we need compost. Right, so there's two ways we could do this. We could make a composter from mine Connolly's like this, just a barrel and throw stuff in it. It's a fine day. That would work. Oh man, look at this, my pants. The durability on my stuff. Oh, if I lose these boots, the durability, that's going to really suck. So anyway, yeah, we can make a compost barrel, or what we could do is we could make a composter hut. A composter's hut. And instead, let the composter make some compost. And you know what? That sounds like it might be a cooler idea. So let's make one of these back in our base. Now also, I reallocated Dr. Potter from the quarry. He was supposed to be quarrying, but he didn't have the materials didn't have the spruce timber frames to actually start digging in the quarry. So what we did is we rehired him as a miner and uh, yeah, he should be hard at work now digging out the mine. And you guys said that he actually exposed a bit of cave for us. He exposed a geode. There it is. And that sounds pretty cool. He's also, why is he, oh, he's gone pretty low actually. Level four. Zero nodes. Oh, is this it? Oh, look at this. Mine level five, four nodes. Oh, he's gone crazy in here. Look at this. Oh, I had no idea he did this, but this is really cool. Oh, and he's exposing these giant geodes. This is very cool, but it's also very freaking dangerous. So let's get some torches in here before he, you know, wastes himself. Luckily, Anna is protecting him. Oh man, these crystal blocks make sounds when you walk on them. That's really cool. Oh, I wonder if you can do anything with these amethyst clusters. Oh, just digging them though is so fun. Listen to that. Listen to this cool crystal sounds. It's weird stuff like this that I love when Minecraft adds. But yeah, Anna is down here protecting Dr. Potter, so I think he's in safe hands. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So, the university's in the right place now. Dr. Potter is back on the mine. What else is on our to-do list? Well, how about the smelter's hut? We've got the sawmill up and running now. Let's go and see what's going on with the smelter's hut, because we set Queen Decoy to build that ages ago. Oh my god, she's done! Wow, this happened without us even realizing it. I guess the notification came up and I was just too busy. Well, very cool. Here it is, the smelter's hut. Now, obviously, this is a little bit buried in the ground, so we'll have to fix some of this. 
but let's see how this bad boy works. So basically, we want to hire a smelter and all of the ores that Dr. Potter, our miner, digs up should get brought over here and smelted. Right click on the smeltery and here we go. There's fuel. Obviously a smeltery needs fuel. And we're going to turn all of them off except for wooden planks because it's the most efficient of all the fuel types and uh, that's what we want him to use. Although maybe coal because um, we will get coal from the mine as well. I reckon that's enough fuel sources. So that's the fuel. What's this down here? Smeltable ore. Now it looks like absolutely everything is on. What about the create ores? Now this is where it's going to get interesting because there are some ores that we've added with the create mod and I'm wondering if mine colonies are set up to smelt those. Oh yeah, look at this. Zinc ore from create is on. Boom! This guy will smelt up all of our stuff. That's crazy! Well, who are we going to hire for this job then? So you need athletics and strength to be a good smelter. And it looks like Miss Jameson just does not cut the mustard. Get out of here, you crazy skank. What we're going to do is we're going to go and hit the tavern and find somebody that's up to this task. We're also going to look at the building and see what it requires for our next level upgrade. A furnace, a stone brick slab, some cobblestone stairs, coarse dirt. All very simple stuff that we have access to. The block of coal I'll have to make myself. I suppose, but let's also get this upgraded. Because I feel like what we're not doing is keeping our builders working. They should always be on the next task. So Queen Decoy can be upgrading the smeltery to level two and we'll get Alyssa to do the carpenter. Is it the carpenter? No, the sawmill. The sawmill up to level two as well. And these are gonna be kind of background builds. I'm tending to lean away from doing time lapses on buildings now because getting oh my oh no don't you dare why for, why are you in there anyway why did you go in the water you plonker you absolute fool what is he doing anyway working yeah my ass you're working he's taking a, a spin in the ocean well honestly i hope he drowns anyway let's get Alyssa over here to upgrade this bad boy to level two And again, very simple materials, paper and oak, cobblestone, the basics. So what are we doing now? We're going to the tavern to see if we can hire a smelter, very important. And then we're going to our house to build a composter and get the composter's hut complete. So athletics and strength are what we need. We're here in the tavern and we've got Moana, Constance and Dog. Dog the White but he's not white. Okay. No, not good enough for Funny you. Honeycomb again. Athletics and strength. He doesn't really have the stats we need. Of course, yes, sir. Athletics and strength. Well, Constance is a bit better, but of again, course, she needs honey. Yes, Ugh. sir. Of course. Moana is more manageable with nether quartz. Athletics 28. Strength 5. Oh, there's always a downside, isn't there? What about these other dudes? Please, put me to work. Bunny Vader. Hey, Bales. Ah, oh, let down. Athletics 2, strength 15. Right away. Baked potatoes are very cheap. Ah, oh, but his stats suck. Well, you know what? I don't think we're going to hire a smelter right now. What we're going to do instead is get us a way to get honeycombs, right? Because, ah, oh, we need to get honeycombs. We need a composter's hut. So we have a composter's hut, there we go. And the other hut we're looking for is a way to get honeycombs. So is it a beekeeper's hut? Is it an apiary? AP. Here we go, mine colonies, apiary, boom. Oh, oh, but we do need an oak beehive and we need honey to make those. Oh, it's like a catch 22. So what we're gonna have to do is go out into the wild and find a beehive. But I do think I've seen a beehive pretty close up one of these trees. There we go, right there. Dangling in our face this whole time. Let's get ourselves, oh, now we've got to be careful because um, these bees could sting. Oh, there's five honey in here as well. How did we get the honey out of a beehive? You don't right click. 
Oh no. Have I? Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do that. The hive has just exploded and I didn't get it. And it was full of honey as well. So what we need to do now is find another beehive. How do you find a beehive? Well, you need to find a bee. That's the easiest way of doing it. So you look on the map and what you're hoping for is to see the icon for a bee. And once you see the icon for a bee, you know that the hive is nearby because that bee needs somewhere to live, right? No brainer, surely. Oh. Wow, or you can just stumble upon one in the wild. Wow, couldn't have planned it better. Anyway, how do we get honey out of this hive? What tool do we use to get honey out of a hive? Okay, so a quick look at Google says, I have the tool I need on me. These shears right here are what I need to get the honeycomb out of the hive. Now, I do have to be careful because I think just like with other bee mods, bees get real mad if you try and steal their honeycomb while they're inside. So luckily they've left now. Right click, boom, we've got ourselves some honeycomb. Time to go home. And likewise, with a hive like that, you can also use bottles to get bottled honey instead of honeycomb. Well, who knew? You guys probably already buy, you know, for months, but me, well, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of discovering Minecraft a little bit every day. It's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, it's a laborious process, so please do bear with me. So here we are back at the computer. We'll put these oak planks on the top and the bottom, use this honeycomb to make an oak beehive, now, I believe the recipe, if it obeys all of the other kinds of recipes, it's going to be the build tool at the top, the key ingredient in the middle, and then oak planks all around the side. And there we go, exactly. Apiary and composter's hut in the bag. Amazing! So there is one more thing I want to take care of before we go out there, and that's my wanderer's boots. These are dangerously close to being explodoed. And I don't want to lose 117,000 blocks worth of travel just because I don't have mending on these boots. There's no real way to repair these boots apart from mending, I think. So we're going to take the grindstone out of the computer and I loosely think I know what you do with this. So one of these tools definitely has mending on it. There we go, a golden hoe. And what I think you do is you use a golden hoe on a grindstone and it will take the enchantment off of it. Now, this is our enchanting room, so we're going to put the grindstone in here. Possibly in the corner, like this. Looks good. So the way the grindstone works is you put the golden hoe in the top, the book in the bottom, and hey presto, you get an enchanted book of mending. Press left shift for enchantment descriptions. Repair the durability of armor and tools with XP. Amazing! So we'll take this. Boom. Goodbye, ho. Goodbye, book. Now we need an anvil to actually put this onto uh, an item. So I should have an anvil in the computer. Anvil. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we've got a chipped one and a normal one. We'll use the normal one, I think. And we'll go and put this into the enchantment room as well. And let's move the grindstone, actually, from its little cubby hole there. And put these both underneath the blue lamps, because I think that's a pretty good look. So we've got the Book of Mending. We will need our boots. That's the important thing, right? Boots, mending. There we go. Wanderer's boots with mending. Now, you guys might think this seems like a waste. I could put mending on my diamond pickaxe, but I really don't want to lose these boots. I've leveled them up real, real high. But don't worry. Oh man, look at that. These boots are shiny AF. So the composter's hut and the apiary. One of these is very important for research. The other one is super important for getting new colonists. This area beyond the farm is where we want to put new fields. So we kind of want to preserve that. The sawmill is kind of in its own location over here. I feel like the area up here on top of this hill might be perfect for an apiary. What do you guys think? Well, let's take a look at how big the thing is first, because I imagine an apiary should be small, but I'm usually wrong with these things. Yeah, it's freaking huge. What's the deal, bro? What if we squeeze it over here to the right? Can we squeeze it in between the guard post 
and the sawmill. It looks like we can actually, that's pretty good news. And yeah, while this looks like it's going to be floating to begin with, we can definitely build some support around it so it's not floating. Bam, level one, and I'm happy with the placement of this, so we'll pull the trigger. Again, we're going to need some decoration and some tidying up around here, but it's not a problem. Now, what about the composter? This must be a small build. And yeah, look at this. This thing's freaking tiny. I think we can even put this down over here as part of the farm. What about this big old slab of cobblestone I put down? This could be a good place for it. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah. So get your ass over here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And good old auto click there. Oh, wait, actually, no, this this is bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah, oh my god, what the hell? This is so big! How is this so big? It's just a composter's hut! Ugh. It's not impeding the university at all, is it? I don't think so. We'll move it one block away from the uni, just in case it is. And ready to rock. Boom. Composter. Oh, I didn't see what it looks like at level 5, but I guess that's going to be an exciting surprise. And yeah, the building materials, relatively simple, but we will need to make another compost barrel. Boom. So we'll set Alyssa to this one. Yeah. And then we'll set Queen Decoy over here on the beekeeper's hut. Amazing. So what were these builders doing before we told them to build these two things? Well, obviously Alyssa was busy upgrading the sawmill, as we can see here, but we don't need to see physically. We can also look at her rap sheet. It's this one. So Alyssa is starting work on the composter. She must have finished wherever else she was. Queen Decoy, though, is still building the smeltery. Now she's going to dig away some of those trees while she does that. Let's see if we can hire another smelter because while we've been faffing around, I'm sure the tavern has had time to cycle its guests. Hop High the White. Right away. 20 sunflowers. He's got athletics. One strength. Get the hell out of here, Hop High. You're trash. What about Caleb Depp? Right away. He needs honeycombs. It's a shame because he's got dream stats. Oh, no. Need some honeycombs. We need honeycombs on the farm. Louisa Palatine. She needs honeycombs. Oh, all of the best colonists need honeycombs. I don't get it. Chuckles Holmes. If you say so. Needs redstone. Athletics 15, strength 9. It'll have to do for now until we get some of the materials we need to hire better colonists. So redstone, I know we have stacks and stacks of. Right Chuckles, away. welcome to the colony. Boom, let's get you set up as a smelter. Now the smeltery is being worked on and upgraded to level two, but that doesn't mean it's out of action. You can still use it as a level one smeltery until the upgrade is complete. So we are going to hire Chuckles. He's only slightly better than Miss Jameson, but it's enough. Welcome to the party, pal. Let's get you teleported over here. And what do you sound like? Yes, sir. Oh. You need me to spell something? If you say so, what is it today? I think it's the same guy that does all of these voices. But I love the mustache, my friend. Anyway, yeah, get to smelting. Oh, look at this. The couriers are already giving this guy something to smelt. I'm not sure what they gave him. Where does he go? Oh, he pops it in the oven. Perfect. <gasps> Look at this. 15 copper ore. Boom, copper ingots. And they've also given him, is that coal? Yeah, coal, nice. <coughs> I wonder if they prioritize high value fuel. Anyway, Maybe Chuckles is, oh, he's got loads of work ahead of him. He's got loads of coal, some zinc. Coal ore. I don't know what he's supposed to do with that. Lapis. Oh, what does he do with lapis? Does he smelt that? How does that work, Chuckles? One thing's for sure, though. It's a shame this is just a furnace and not a blast furnace, because this guy could really use 
the speed injection. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a furnace inside the smeltery level two recipe. So uh, I guess, yeah, the next the next level of smeltery has two ovens, and maybe level three has three ovens, so on and so forth. Oh no 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 no! So I've noticed that. Oh my God, Alyssa has started to break this field to get this built. So we're going to cancel the build, Alyssa. Stop! Stop what you're doing! Stop digging! And it looks like I've kind of misplaced this block because, yeah, we don't want to ruin this field. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to build options, pick up the building. She, now, Alyssa's done a lot of clearing out, and that was great work, Alyssa. We do appreciate that. But what I'm going to have to do now is get the build tool out and see if I can just basically find a better spot for this. Because, yeah, if it overlaps the field here, that's going to ruin our day. And there we go, now it doesn't overlap the field. But also another thing, we need to make sure we know what this thing looks like at level 5. So when we do finally get it completed, it doesn't get in the way of things. And honestly, yeah, it's a pretty cool and still discreet looking build. It doesn't really impede on much. So we can definitely switch a ski it, swivel it around. And there we go, now there's no overlap at all with the field. There's no overlap with the university, I don't think. And there's no overlap with... Oh, what's this? Oh, perfect. And there's no overlap with the sawmill either. Oh, actually though, if you raise this building up, it actually, oh, we, we had it quite deep underground there in the wrong position. It looks like it should actually be raised quite high up out of the ground. But I kind of like this whole cart effect with the compost on the back right next to these fields. We can get all this fixed and plumbed in perfectly. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with this. Let's pull the trigger. Level one, boom. And now we'll of course set Alyssa to work on this, but we're gonna give her a hand digging out some of these trees now because, oh, she's making things look pretty ugly here. So there we go, emergency handled. And you should never be scared of stopping a builder if you realize you've made a bit of a mistake because before the building has been built, don't be like us, learn from the university mistake and when you think a building's in the wrong position, stop, pick the building up, take another look, have a bit of a think and then put it down but this time being sure of exactly how it's gonna go down because we avoided a very dangerous mistake there by having the building being way too low underground. Now it's a simple build for the composter, but I honestly can't see us going much higher than level three with the composter's building. It's useful, compost is great for farming things, but the biggest thing is we need it for research. So this episode has been great. We basically did a massive reshuffle by flipping the university 180 degrees. And that was a lot more work than I made it look like. So uh, yeah, trust me, you never want to have to do that. We've also got our sawmill up to level two. That's looking really good. And we finally got our smeltery built and we took a look at how that works. In the background now, it looks like the other builder has also started work on our apiary. So that's pretty exciting. And it means at the end of this episode, we're gonna have built three completely fresh new buildings. The smeltery must be level two then, if the builder has started work on the apiary. And that's pretty exciting as well. It means we're getting very, very, very close to having a sustainable colony. Once we're in a position where our colonists can dig wood, stone, and ores, and then use those materials to make things like bars, planks, and cobblestone stairs and things, that means they have all they need to start building their own houses without me having to go and gather the resources and turn them into what they need to succeed. So with that in mind, I think the buildings that we need now that we're missing are gonna be a plantation so that we can get paper from sugarcane. That's gonna be very important because there's a lot of paper timber frames required for a lot of builds. We'll need tools for not just the builders, but the carpenters, the miners, and that's locked behind getting the mine to level three. And finally, we need a stonemason's hut where he can turn things like cobblestone into cobblestone stairs, slabs, and make the stone-based things we need. But I do know that the build that you guys have voted for and are excited to see is the barracks. So definitely the next episode, between now and then, I'm gonna have decorated, spruced the place up a bit, no pun intended, and then we can start work because the research will be done on the barracks. 
we'll come back to these buildings, take a look at the jobs and see how they work, understand the workings of them, get some colonists working there and see how they work. So a huge thank you for watching, a big thank you to my Patreon members and my YouTube members. If you've watched through this far, make sure you put in the comment section University Flipperooski, uh, and I'll leave you to decide how to spell that, because <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one, and I will heart the comments. So until next time, a huge thank you, and take care.